just reached 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube and I am so, so grateful. I'm so happy that I could be a part of your crochet journey and that you actually find me entertaining or at least educational to watch. Wherever you watch me, thank you so much. I'll be having 20% off all of my patterns on my Etsy. The link will be down below. And I will also have a Visa gift card that I'll be giving out. It'll be $20 for 20,000 subscribers because I cannot give away $20,000 right now. There will be a code word somewhere throughout the video and whoever comments it down below first, I will contact you and I will get you that $20 gift card. So yeah, thank y'all so much and let's continue to the video. Hey y'all, so it is Hook by Brianna, aka Brianna, I did it backwards, it's Brianna aka Hook by Brianna and welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we have like a design process slash crochet with me type thing so I vaguely know what I want to make but I'm not sure, I just did a big shopping trip at Hobby Lobby for this said project that I don't know, I'm going in blind right now but it has a lot of potential because of the materials that I got. So we're going for like a mermaid type thing because I've been obsessed with the mermaid core aesthetic. I know, I know. Core after everything, I get it, but like mermaid core. I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Hobby Lobby and maybe that'll help me materialize an idea of what I wanna do with it. So first I got two skeins of this color. So there we go. Of this soft and sleek low pill fiber yarn. I got two of these and I just like buying different types of yarns when I see them. I've never seen all this one before and this one is uh, the root thick and thin. Like part of it is thick, part of it is thin. I don't know how good this will be to use. I don't know how realistic it is. Realistic isn't the word I'm looking for but you know what I mean. I don't know if it's gonna work for real for what I'm trying to do. And then I got this scarf scarfy light i think it is going to pill a lot but i really like the color and it's really soft so i got it anyway hopefully it works fine regardless and then i got i love this yarn i haven't used this in forever because i don't really shop at hobby lobby but as you can tell i'm in my old setup i'm back at home and hobby lobby is the only craft store that's here so yeah i already told y'all i got two of these and then i just got a low pill thinner i think it's like a weight three white fabric not white fabric white yarn but speaking of fabric i got fabric that's how you know i'm serious about this project i don't really sew like that so i don't even know if i'll end up using it but i saw this bag on instagram the other day and I've been obsessed with it. I know that it's ribbon, but like the vibe could go with this fabric too. I don't know if I got enough because again, I don't sew. I don't know how much I'm supposed to get. So I just got a half a yard, which I'm kind of, actually it'll be okay. Cause both ends have the little scallop. So I can like use half on the front and half on the bottom. And it's like this, floral lace type thing so i was thinking like crochet top up here and then the bottom will be just the lace with the scallop and i can make it really long because you know all my tops are cropped and this will make it easier to make the top not cropped i got a half yard of this and it was on sale because the yarn was not on sale this week unfortunately back to the yarn I've been wanting some sequins yarn for forever. I've been trying to get it offline. I ordered it first from AliExpress because that was the only place I saw it before. Shout out to Scump Stitch for telling me where to get it. Go follow her, she's amazing. And she has amazing patterns out there too. So yeah, check her out. And she sent me it. I ordered it, but I put in my wrong address. So I never got it, unfortunately. But I saw in Hobby Lobby they sell sequence jar now now for embellishments that i don't even know if i'm going to use yet these little gold flowers pearls because what screams mermaid more than pearls this little charm because it was on sale too my philosophy is it's better to buy more because i can always return it if i don't end up using it as long as i don't open it so that's the plan 
If I don't use all this, just know that I already returned it by the time this video is uploaded. Then I have this stretchy beading string. I don't have my pliers, so I had to buy some just in case I do end up using like the jewelry hardware things. But hopefully I don't have to use this. Hopefully there's something around the house, but I got it just in case. That thread, because you know I have to sew if I have fabric. I have my sewing machine, but if I'm not confident enough with my sewing machine, I also have this little kit that I got, which I also have in Kennesaw, but I do not have it right now. And lastly, we got these beads, which I can also use to clear stringy beads. On. I also got some shells from the beauty supply store if you didn't know they sell shells because you can also put it in your hair and they're like $1.99 they're not in my Hobby Lobby bag though so just imagine the little white basic seashells that is everything I'm working with so let's go ahead and start trying to design what we're gonna do so first things first if y'all don't know what the mermaid core aesthetic is I'm gonna show y'all some examples of what I'm going for and what is inspiring me right now to make whatever I'm gonna make, because again, I do not know. So first is this outfit. I really like the crochet, question mark, question mark. I think, I'm pretty sure it's crochet. Um, cardigan up over top of the mesh shirt. Let me come to the, sorry. I really like the mesh and crochet together as well as lace and crochet together. I think those look really nice. This is definitely a huge inspiration, just all the random things, the sequins, the crochet, all of that detailing looks really nice together. And yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna go that much into the mermaid aesthetic, but it's definitely a big source of inspiration. Also, I might go back to Hobby Lobby and get some little charms this week to make my own like mermaid core jewelry. If I wanna go all out, depends on how well this goes. Cause again, I do not know. And this is another mixture of like lace and crochet. I think it looks really, really nice together. Here's the seashells that I have, by the way, on crochet, which I've also been obsessed with. Just pearls, very mermaidy. So yeah, this is definitely my inspiration for it, as well as the colors, which is like pastel blues, gold, whites, pearlescent things. So yeah, that's what I'm going for. So now I just have Procreate open and I'm just going to try to make a sketch. I usually just bounce between Pinterest and just looking up different keywords. But yeah, I'll come back once I'm done because this is going to take like an hour. All right, so here is the finished sketch again. It is very projected to change and I really like how it is. I just don't know if I want to have enough yarn. I might even make the skirt shorter, but I've been wanting to make a maxi skirt for a minute now. So hopefully I can make the maxi, especially since I have the lace as most of the top. So I should have enough, hopefully. And these black things represent pearls. These circles represent the beading. So yeah, that's what this is looking like so far. I think the top is gonna be absolutely beautiful. I'm kinda nervous about the skirt, but I'm sure everything will come together. So now I'm just going to start trying to figure out what stitches I wanna use and how I wanna make it. I don't have my stitch book with me, so it'll just be whatever I can find online or just stitches that I already know how to make. Keep y'all updated once I have something important to say or something to teach you all, so. Let's go right into it. Recently, I did have a fellow crochet entrepreneur named Samaya reach out to me. She does have a project planner available on her Etsy called the Crochet Guru Shop, and I'll have it linked down below. So if you think my method is really crazy and you don't want to design things like I do, you can be more organized with her project planner. The planner is fully digital and it is compatible with GoodNotes. I love GoodNotes on my iPad, so I highly recommend that app in the first place. But yeah, go ahead and check her out and support a fellow crochet artist. All right, so here we are. This is what we have on the top. I'm gonna to explain what I did so far before I forget. So here in the middle, we have Trinity stitches. I just did it from like here to here. I did want it to be bigger, but it kind of shrunk up as I kept going. So yeah, so I had to add some stitches on the side. So first I used the thin and thick yarn that I was talking about earlier that I didn't know how it would work up. 
and then I also tested out the sequins yarn plain blue and then I went back to the main color and I did the Trinity stitches when I got back to the main color so yeah and then the sequins is one row of single crochet one row half double crochet with the white right here it was a row of half double crochet and then I have a row of single crochets with the main color and then four rows of trinity stitches and it is just big enough to cover my boobs i'm still going to make the strap here and then i don't know if i'm going to do just the lace or if i'm going to do like a mesh crochet thing and overlay that over the lace if that makes sense so this is what it looks like with the lace i just pinned it on so that's why it kind of looks ugly and i pinned it the wrong way so i'll just do it this way and I just don't know how I feel about it so I feel like it needs more crochet to at least go to the middle and then this could be like the layer under it you know because the layered look may be cool so I might just make a little mesh sheet I don't know with what yarn yet though first I think I'm going to make the straps first and see how much of this yarn I have left because I don't think I'll use the scarf yarn on this top because it's just gonna pill so much and I don't want the shirt to be pilly. I don't mind if the skirt is, but I want the shirt to just be nice and fine. Also, huge shout out to Cameron Kane. She really helped me make the silhouette of this top. I didn't follow the tutorial exactly, but I did use it for my sleeves. So update, this is what we're working with now. Just ignore this shirt right here but it's not sewn on yet but this is what i think i'm going to make the base like i just did the mesh here and i just did two single crochets in each stitch at the bottom to make a little ruffle the back is not done yet i might just leave it open at this point so we're in luck because i can just crochet right into the lace because it has these little holes if you can see that and I just forced my smallest hook which is a 2.5 millimeter through it and then I just make a single crochet like normal so just make sure you don't punch too close to the edge or you're just gonna make too big of a hole but I also folded mine over so even if it does happen it should be fine but yeah I just crochet for this whole row and that'll make it easier for me to attach it to the rest of the top so update i started adding these pearls onto the white part so what used to be this just the one fill in the holes and to add more of the mermaid look so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do that to this side and it's pretty easy to put on by the way you don't have to always crochet and put the beads on at the same time because I don't have a hook small enough to be doing that. So I just got a needle and thread and I would just sew the beads on itself. Right, so update, right now I'm working on the beading. I finished the middle part and right now I'm just beading the whole edge. It'll focus. Yeah, right now I'm just beading this whole edge. I'm pretty much done, but I still have to do this side. And yeah, I'll also, link the TikTok that I saw on how to do the beading. I mean, it doesn't really teach you how, but she showed how she did it, and that's how I just learned how to do it. So yeah, I love it so far. It's literally so mermaidy. So this is the video I was referring to. It is made by Repressed Hippie on TikTok, and I'll go ahead and have the link in my description box as well. So it is the end of day one, and we finished the top. Here we are have all the beading completed I am so obsessed with it literally so happy this is exactly how I wanted it to turn out even though it's not exactly like my sketch but the idea is definitely still there and now here is the back which I basically use the same technique for the lace and then I added the gold and then it ties in the back like this and it also has the mesh in the back this is it and just know that it fits amazingly hi everyone so it is the next day after discussing it with my mom we decided that i should make it more cropped it's just something about the crop look i guess so i pinned it up and i'm just going to sew it 
where the pins are just to take it up a little bit so it will be like a little high low thing it will still be long in the back but in the front it's going to be a little more cropped because my mom said it was just a little too much lace showing in the front and i agree i think it does look better when it's more cropped at this point i started the skirt which is my shell skirt mixed with i coxon or however you say it i'm so sorry her video i referred to whenever i got stuck at some points so i did start on the skirt but it has this weird bubble on the row where i increased so i think i need to increase on every row after this so it doesn't do this because i just did normal rows here and it's not looking right so this yarn gets tangled easily because of how fluffy it is i guess so i'm just cutting this off because i just can't undo it without it getting knotted up and then i had to go buy some more yarn from hobby lobby because i ran out hey y'all so it is the next day and i am about to go back to hobby lobby to return the things that i didn't use like the white thin yarn, that big charm, the pliers, and the little stretchy bead thread because I'm not going to use it and I don't think I will unless I make jewelry. I'm going to look in the charm section first but I don't think I'll end up making it because I just think it'll be too much. I'm going to shoot for the maxi skirt. I still don't know yet. Y'all know I never end up making a maxi skirt but hopefully this time I do. I've been doing it since I woke up this morning around like 10. It's currently 2.12. So right now it's a mini skirt, but we're going for the maxi look and it's going to be like a circle skirt with a lot of ruffles. So it is going to require a lot of yarn and I'm already out of the main color that I use for the top. I'm going to need some more of every color basically besides the blue. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. and. I'll see y'all soon. So we got another roll of the Through Thick and Thin by Yarn B. Brushstroke Breeze by I Love This Yarn. I also got a bigger hook because I did not bring all of my hooks with me. The biggest hook size I have is a five. And in order for the maxi skirt to flow how I wanted to, I need a bigger hook. So I got a size nine hook. I also got this locket. Yeah. It looks kind of mermaid-y. So yeah. I also just got these little things and i'm thinking of just like crocheting with thin yarn and just putting this at the end of the necklace so yeah that's everything we got now i got a dollar back for my return so we're thriving right now let's go ahead and finish the skirt so this is the end of night two as you can see it's still barely past mini skirt length so we got a long way to go and here's me still looking so tired and sad because it's like two in the morning and I'm not done. All right, so update. We are like at the night time of day two. We still have a long way to go for the skirt. It's on me, it's about past my knees, but I still have like about halfway to go to reach where I want it to stop. So, I'm just going to keep doing the different rows until I finally run out of yarn, which I probably will because I'm almost out of this color and this color again. Right now, I only have a lot of blue and this white-ish off-white. So, it's only so much I can do right now to keep the pattern going. But, yeah, I'll update y'all soon. So this is the afternoon of day three. I did get a lot of the skirt done, but I ran out of yarn. So I did have to go to the store again. I didn't really record that much today because I was on grind mode and it was very repetitive. It was no point, but look at it move. Like, yeah. Everyone, so we're still on the final stretch. Don't mind the mermaid bed because it's not supposed to be my room still, by the way. So just forget about that right now. But here it is so far. Oops. It's very hard to find the strength to keep going. I have three more inches left though. I have three more inches left though, so we're gonna be okay. We're gonna finish today for sure. It's just so hard to keep going and the skirt is literally so heavy, but it's so pretty at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna finish these three inches, hopefully. 
Hopefully the three inches do not take all day. I'm so sorry for not really filming day three, but I finished it around 6 p.m. This is how long it ended up being. And I did want it to be a little longer, but I ran out of yarn again and I was not about to go to Hobby Lobby for like the fourth time. I hoped you learned at least one thing from this design process video. That is my only wish. So yeah, peace and happy crocheting.